Hey guys, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the new Flowlink plugin, and that is our Shipproof to WordPress uh, syncing plugin, and that will allow you to display, to display your uh, galleries from Shipproof on your website. Um, as you can see here, I've got a quick preview of, uh, of that, and I've synced my Shipproof gallery and created a, a short code to display this on the page. And um, I will quickly show you how that works. Uh, and you can see that in Inside Gallery, we actually have the option to display images and multiple galleries to the site. So to do that, you're gonna to wanna to download the plugin once you've purchased it. And uh, you'll wanna log into your WordPress dashboard and you'll head over to your plugin section. Uh, once you head to the plugin section, uh, you will be able to upload the plugin. So go to add new and then you'll want to click on upload. So upload plugin, choose the file. And if you're like me and you have it saved already down on your desktop, you can select that. So it should be full link uh, zip file and just open. Hit install and activate the plugin. And once that's activated, We'll be able to get started. You will uh, now have a Flowlink admin panel in the back end, so just head on over to that. And from here, you'll see that there's now an authorized uh, section, and in here we'll need to uh, generate an author authentication code uh, between Shoeproof and your WordPress site. And to do that, you'll just want to hit generate code. That will start the pop-up for the authentication from Shoeproof. Uh, just put in your details, hit login, and you'll get the uh, authorization page. Just authorize this, copy the code, and then paste it in the code section. Hit verify, and then hit link to your galleries. And there you have it, your galleries are now linked to your site. The next option, and the next thing you will want to do is um, Sync those galleries, and you can do that by selecting all or selecting galleries one by one by clicking the button in the top left. Uh, just a note, if you want to unsync your galleries, you can scroll down and just hit the logout button, and that will um, unauthorize the shipproof link. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, link these galleries. I'm just gonna hit select all, but as mentioned, you can click each individual one if you only want to sync a selection. Um, and you can just wait until that's done and they're all synced and you'll see the number uh, here will continue uh, to increase uh, as you have them all selected. If you want to preview a gallery, you can do so by clicking the I button on the top right and that will take you directly to the link from your, uh, from your Shoeproof gallery. Now, the next option here will be once everything is synced, uh, you will want to go to the synced uh, galleries section. And in here, you are able to uh, then start updating and changing your galleries. So we have uh, the nine galleries synced, and there are a few options you can do here. Uh, the first is resync all galleries, and, and this option is relevant if you have made any updates in Shoeproof and you just want to resync the latest photos for all your galleries. Now, for each individual gallery, you will have four options. The view, and that will uh, let you view the single gallery um, as from the client side and how that will look. So for example, in this case, I have a password. And you can go ahead and open that, and then you can see uh, what a single gallery itself will look like. Uh, you also have the quick edit option. You have an option to resync single galleries if you've made updates in Shoeproof, and you can also unsync the gallery. So the quick edit option allows you to rename the gallery or the page for the gallery. Uh, you can assign a password. You can also assign a download pin and if you want to enable a masonry layout option for the single gallery itself, um, you can enable that here. So in this gallery, I have uh, five sub-galleries and you can see the structure. And then by clicking through, you can see all the images.
If you click the button I just did on the top left, it takes you back to the home for all galleries. And again, you can see the same here, quick edit. Do I want a password, yes or no? Do I need a download pin? Uh, and this will be something we will extend further later. And do I want a masonry grid? So for this one, I'm actually going to implement a masonry. I'm going to save that. Now that that is saved, and we're happy with all the options for the galleries, um, you can generate a shortcode. And this shortcode will allow you to display uh, two things. One, a grid. So that will be a grid of all the uh, galleries that you want to display on any page. And this can be uh, unique for every page that you would like to create with the galleries. Or alternatively, you may only want to display the one gallery option and you will then select single. And the only option here will be to select the number of columns for the inside of the gallery. So I'm gonna do a grid first. And I'm gonna choose the classic grid and that will be with the title below. But if you want to have the title over the image, uh, so whenever they hover, uh, the uh, image pops up, or the title pops up over, then you'll choose grid title over. I will use three columns, and um, because I have nine galleries, again, you can select one, two, three, or four, uh, and you can select the featured image ratio. Uh, I will use 43 standard digital format, or three to two. Um, 16 to nine is also very popular, but you can decide on that. And lastly, I will select the galleries that I want to use and display. So I'm just gonna select each of the galleries that I would like to display, and I'm gonna select all mine. And then I'm gonna generate the shortcode. So we've selected all the galleries, we've got the ratio, I'll just copy that to the clipboard. And I'm gonna create a new page to display this. So let's head over to Pages, Add New. Again, you can add this to any page that's uh, as required, but I'll create a new one for this tutorial. Um, and I'm gonna name this Client Galleries. I will simply paste the shortcode to the page and we'll publish this page. Once the page is published, you can go ahead and view the page and you will then have the client galleries directly integrated into your site. Now, if you've added a password, for example, whenever you click to the gallery, you will have a password. Um, this is not an example of that. Uh, for example, weddings. This is not the gallery. Uh, if you do have a password enabled, I'll do that in a second, you'll see that there is a gallery pop-up. So let's go to um, full link and I will go to the sync galleries. And I'm gonna put a password here. I'm gonna save that. I'm just gonna refresh this page and check it out. So here we have the password now enabled. I'll just hit open the gallery. And inside this gallery, I actually also enabled the masonry grid. Um, so it looks really great. Uh, you can actually uh, keep a standard grid view um, and you can select that per gallery. So for example, in this, I just have a regular format for my images. And you can see that they're just a regular grid. And if I click into any single gallery, you will be able to just navigate through those as required. Finally, we do have an option for users to download the images. Uh, and again, we'll be working on options to uh, turn this on or off, uh, as not everyone will want to do that. And uh, we may work to later for an option uh, to download the full gallery, but that is yet to be implemented. So that's it, folks. It's a really simple option for uh, creating and adding the gallery. One last item I will show you um, is the single uh, gallery option. And I'm just gonna go ahead to single. I'm gonna select uh, any gallery here. And I am going to copy this to the clipboard. And again, let's create a new page for a single gallery. Same as before. 
I've used three columns. You can actually change this here if you wanted to. You can do up to four. And you could actually change the ratio to whatever ratio you liked. So maybe you want to do 16 to 9. That is actually possible. And you can just hit publish. And you can hit view the page. And you'll see we have the single gallery option here. Okay, folks, that's all. I hope that's pretty clear for you. If you have any questions, as always, let us know, um, and we'd love to hear your feedback on this product.